All right, folks, we've been rocking. We looked at a number of different things tonight. I thank everybody for being on the call. Uh, we looked at Saletti AI. We looked at All Money Mania. We looked at Tower Staking. We looked at Mobility Share. We looked at Art Mine. We looked at Lotto Day. Now, folks, the last thing I'm gonna figure out with uh, finish up with tonight is we're going to look at these liquidity pools. Now, folks, you've heard me talking about it. You know that I'm in the liquidity pools. You know that I like and love it. And you know the reason I like it is because it's different than everything else that I've talked about on my channel. Now, that does not mean that you can't lose some or all of your crypto. However you have a better chance at winning in liquidity pools if you're in the crypto side of things better than anything. Now, what you need to understand is what are liquidity pools. So liquidity pools are a very simple concept. When you go put your money in a bank and it's an interest bearing account, they give you interest on your money. In crypto, we're used to staking in different projects. And once we stake our capital, they give us money back in return. It's almost like lending and borrowing to a sense. You put money in, you get money back out. Now, folks, you may be wondering, well, what type of lending and borrowing are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about decentralized finance, folks. And you mean in the DeFi land, folks, where everything is decentralized. And when you're in the decentralized land, folks, that gives you the ability to take control of your own finances, right? Where the capital stays in your possession. And if you're going to loan it out, you're going to be able to get it back where it's not locked up in some super duper long contract. Like it's literally available for you right now and so folks if you don't know before you get involved in liquidity pools i would highly recommend that you take a course or you do some severe study and like study it out don't just get into liquidity pools because i'm in it you'll wind up wrecking yourself you will wind up wrecking yourself now, folks, I use Orca Decentralized Exchange. What is a decentralized exchange? Well, it's not. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not Coinbase. It's not Binance. It's not KuCoin. It's not Kraken. It's something where you don't log in with the password uh, to the exchange. You just connect your wallet just like I did on Lotto Day, just like I did on Saletti, right? You connect your wallet in Web3 land. Now, the benefit to these decentralized exchanges is that if something were to happen, you hold the keys. You ever been shut down by your bank or you ever had your capital held against your will or you ever been on Coinbase or Kraken and they froze your account? I've been through all of that stuff, right? This different. As long as you hold the keys to the wallet, you're holding the keys to your future. Now, with concentrated liquidity pools, there's multiple different decentralized exchanges that you can use. I like Orca. The reason I like Orca is because Orca is built on the Solana network, S-O-L, Solana token, Solana coin. So the fees are very cheap and it's fast. And so I like providing liquidity or providing capital or providing my crypto to Orca. And then Orca is the largest Solano-based exchange. So that means there's a ton of liquidity coming through. Well, how much? Well, there's $183 million in lock value here. They've traded $755 million in the last 24 hours, right? Oh, Orca does have its own token on its own blockchain, right? And then they do pay out weekly rewards. Now, I would tell you, at least before you decide to bring some crypto and put it into a liquidity pool, 
once again, buy somebody's course, take somebody's free course, watch about 20 hours of YouTube videos until you figure it out. Or come on over to my Telegram and we'll help you as much as we can. But bottom line, you need to get some education. Now, I got education from a good buddy of mine named Eric Majors. Now, Eric Majors happens to trade for a 202020 fund. You can look him up, ericmajors.com. I brought him on my call a couple of times. Eric Majors is the real deal. And so I literally bought a course from Eric Majors to learn how to do concentrated liquidity pools approximately 30 days ago. And I made about $11,000 since then. So that $650 course was actually $850. But if you want to use my link to buy his course, you'll get 25% off. Uh, but I made that money back in three days. I literally took the course. Five hours later, I was set up and invested in concentrated liquidity pools. Now, folks, when you come to concentrated liquidity pools, you have tons of different pools that you can get into. Now, you need to know some things before you just come sticking your money in pools. You need to understand the liquidity. You need to understand the volume, the trading fees, and you know the fee rate. And you got to understand the underlying assets, whether you're going in with Solano or USDC. Now, there's no trading. What you are getting paid off of is other people swapping. You ever swap from Bitcoin to Ethereum or Ethereum over to Matic or Solano over to USDC? Every time you make a swap, the exchange, whether it's decentralized or centralized, gets a fee. And so what happens in a decentralized, concentrated liquidity pool, you get to share in the fees if you put your crypto in. Now, once again, folks, you're not trading, you're not reading charts, you're not staking for any extended period of time at all. You're literally letting the decentralized exchange, Orca, use your tokens. Now, you can see I got 34,000 in this thing. Now, you also see I got $227 in pending yield. Now, folks, this is what I made since I got up today. So less than 12 hours, I made $227 off this $34,000. Now, if you took $34,153, right, times 1%, that would be $341 per day. Now, folks, 1% a day would be $341. I did $227 in the last 12 hours. Now, I'm in a number of different liquidity pools, but like I said, before you get in, make sure you know what you're doing. This estimated range right here is 30 days yield, right? 26%, not too bad. I got 12,000 in here, right? And then this one right here, 11.8, I made $70 off of this. You know, but this is supposed to be 46%. So you would think like, well, how come you didn't make you know, more in this one and this one. These are approximations, right? And it's based on the last 30 days. Now, this one here, 29%, that's 1% a day. But you see right here, I almost made 1% since I've been up today in this plan, right? Crazy when you think about it, folks. And so this thing is pumping and paying. Now, if I wanted to go in here and take off some money, like I figure this one is up a little bit here at 12,000. I think I got in like 11.5. I can skim dollars off the top. Now, folks, I'm connected to a SoulFlare wallet, and I want to show you how this is. You see, it's 9,500 sitting in there because I'm holding some Solano. Um, I'm holding Bonk, which is a mean coin, not for eternity, but I just think that I can make some money during the bull run. I'm holding some soul chat. Like I said, I'm just holding these over here in his wallet, waiting to see what happens on the bull run. And maybe I'll get lucky. And if not, it's only like a thousand dollars a coin, except for bonk, but you know, helium mobile render dog with hat. So these are just some tokens on Solano chain. I'm holding in my wallet over here, building them up just in case they take off and go nutty. Right. But you see is 95 23 there. Right. So say I want to go in here and harvest all my yield because it's about time for today. 
I'm going to go carvish this yield. This is going to take this 227 and bring over some Solano, some mobile, and render, right? I'm going to go ahead and click approve. And then you're going to wind up seeing that this 227, it hits my wallet pretty fast. It's 97.28 now, right, folks? Right? Harvest completed. That's gone. That's over in my wallet already, folks. And so just that quickly, right, um, I got paid for the last 12 hours. Now, I could take that and I can redeposit it back in here if I want it. I can keep it in my wallet. If I change my mind and say, oh, I don't really like this yield anymore. I want to change something. You know, I come and look in the pool. I can come up out of here. And to be quite honest, I was thinking about coming out of here and putting some more down here in this sole USDC because that was my winner and I got the lowest amount of money. But let's just say I want to go in here and withdraw some of this right now, right? Is this the one I want to withdraw from? Let me see. Soul render or mobile soul. Let me see here. Uh, I think that I want to go in here and go get some of this mobile soul out. Actually, I'm going to take half of these. I'm going to go in and I'm not going to remove my whole position. I'm going to just take half, right? So this 50%, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw this, right? And then you can see right here, it's taking 11 Solano, 362 render. And I'm literally taking some of my money out of the liquidity pool, right? And so it's a matter of just that quick. My capital will not be in the pool anymore but it'll be in my wallet. See, you see, this is already at 15K right there, right? And it, it shows you, right? You withdrew 11.9 soul. And then so now this, this right here, this is my highest plan, right? But now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna take half of this out of here too, right? Because I'm, I've decided I'm gonna go heavy, heavier. Let me see about 5,900, 50%, right? There it is, right? I'm gonna go heavier in my USDC Solano pool because the reality that pool is a little more uh, solid as far as the tokens. And you see that right there, folks. It's already at 21, even though it hasn't came out on this side. There it is. You withdrew that. So you see how fast that is, right? Now my positions are a lot lower, right? And I'm just showing y'all some stuff. And we're going to wrap this up for tonight. And then so now I'm at 22 in there, right? Because I got this crypto in my wallet. But... I like that USDC Solano pair. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this render is $465. I'm going to swap this all to Solano. And then, boom, I'm going to go ahead and swap it. And then so this is what the exchange makes money off of. You swap from render to soul, they're taking a little fee. That fee is what gets distributed out to the people in the liquidity pools. But as long as you stay in range, you're earning. And the only thing you really have to worry about is uh, the price of the assets going up and down. Uh, but that's crypto, right? So I got a couple hands in here and a couple questions in here. Let me take a look at these questions. Okay. Yep, you can hook up ledgers as well, too. Yep, you can hook up ledgers as well, too. Yep, there's a multiple different options to connect. Now, let me see here. I got some Solano, but I don't have enough USDC, right? Oh, did I change all of that? What was that I just swapped out of? Oh, I didn't want to change it all. I wanted to keep a $1,000 worth. Uh, I'll come back and pick it up. All right. Um, and then now this Helium Mobile Bonk, I'm waiting for Bonk to come up before I sell any of it. But this Helium Mobile, uh, I'm going to swap this right now. Uh, um, I'm going to swap uh, 900,000 of these. 900,000. Boom. And and, and this is, trust me, it's not that complicated. I could have stayed in those positions. They were perfectly fine. I just see that one USDC, uh, Solano USDC. Oh, crap. I think I swapped this to the wrong asset. I swapped it to Solano again. That's just an extra fee I didn't have to pay. 
uh, because I swapped it to the wrong asset because I'm sitting here running my mouth and talking. But let's see here. As soon as this comes through. And then sometimes you do got to adjust the gas fees up here, the slippage fees and all of that different stuff. But most of the time you don't. Uh, but I guarantee is my computer and not somebody else. So, no, that didn't go. Let me come up out of here and open this up one more time. And I'm not going to hold you guys on if it continues to give me problems. But let me swap this helium. We're going to swap this actually to USDC instead because I want to go into USDC and which we call a pool. And then let's just do 800,000. 800,000. We're going to swap. That'll get me 3,300. And hopefully this one should go through a little more easier. And then I'll show y'all getting into a pool. Y'all see me pulling capital out. Come on, internet. Transaction complete. Okay, cool. So now I got some USDC and I got some Solano. So now I can come. This pool is sitting at, I got a, what do I got in here right now? I got 10.3 in there. So now I can deposit some more in here. Deposit. Oh, the internet. Here we go. All right. So $147. Come on. This couldn't be reading my wallet. Oh, it just came up. There we go. All right. So I'm going to come in here and decide how much Solano and USDC. You see the deposit and which I'm going to call it ratio. We're going to max out this. And then we're just going to go in and click deposit because I got more Solano than I do got USDC. See 11 points live. Solano going in 31.96, or excuse me, 3,196 USDC going in. But this is how literally how quick and easy it is to get money in and out of the system. And I'm making on average a 1% per day, folks, with the money staying in my exchange. I ain't got to send it to anybody, you know. Um, and this is simple once you understand what you're doing. Um, but that position should have took. I just deposited 11.693. And then so, folks, you see that this now is up to 15,000 where it was. I got some of that back in uh, the contract. And now I'm going a, I'm to a go home and do the rest later because I don't feel like keeping y'all on uh, because I don't want 16000 sitting over here. I want uh, the majority of it in contracts. Um, but then I also have another wallet, LP2 wallet, folks, is $90 in this wallet, right? Now, I started this one not a month ago. Um, I started with 4300 I want to show you my results on this. I started with 4300 not even a month ago, folks, and it's at 5500 And then so if you take 5566 minus uh, divided by 4300 I made 30% less than 30 days, folks. Less than 30 days in this particular account. You know, this is my basic stake I had here, everything else here, and in my wallet is profit. So, you know, folks, um, that might have been a little bit fast for y'all to keep up with, but I've done longer videos. Um, there's other YouTubers out there talking about this. But to me, nothing else makes sense to me to really, really bold up and put my capital in because this stays in my possession, folks. It's a click of a button away. It's that liquidity. And let's be honest, 1% a day is phenomenal. And if you set some looser ranges, which this is all stuff you'll have to learn, you know, you can make on the low end five or 10% a month. On a good month, you can make 50, 60% in a month, just depending on how much you manage it. But literally, it's the easiest set it and forget it thing that I have. And I didn't have to go through all those changes with y'all. I just wanted y'all to see some of the process today. But that is concentrated liquidity pools. If you want to buy the course, um, I'll have a link to Eric's course. You want to join our community, which I can help you as much as I can, but I can't give you all the game because, you know, it takes some time to learn some things, but learn that is nothing better in this space right now. Concentrated liquidity pools.